Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a new BMW M4 CSL and next to me is an Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio GTA and we're going to have a drag race between these two lightweight specials. One from Germany, one from Italy, which will win. I've also got a guest driver in the car, it's my old friend Yanni. How you doing mate, you okay? Young Matthew, look at you in like a matte coloured car. Shouldn't I be in that car? I don't know, that's quite bright and quite green. You like loud paint jobs, this is a bit more subdued, no? It looks quite nice though with the red decals, very nice. Anyhow, let me tell you about these cars. This BMW has a three litre twin turbo straight six, puts out 550 horsepower. Yeah, a bit more than the standard M4, which has 510. It's also got 650 newton meters of torque and it drives the rear wheels only for an eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control, even though it's just a torque converter auto. Now BMW has stripped out quite a bit of weight of this car. There's common fiber in places, there's no back seats. It weighs 100 kilos less than the standard M4. Still tips the scales at 1,620. 25 kilos though. It's quite expensive this, 126,000 pounds. It's rare though. Only a thousand will be made worldwide and just 10 of those are coming to the UK and this is one of them. So I'd better not crash it. Let's find out about the Alfa from Yanni. So Yanni, tell me about your car. It's a Julia, one of 500 um, in green. But I've told you the stats on this car already. Can you not remember what I said? 2.9 litre. 500-ish brake. You can't do ishes, we need to be accurate. It's a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6, puts out 540 horsepower, which is 30 horsepower more than the standard Julia Quadrifoglio. It's got 600 newton meters of torque, drives the rear wheels only by an eight speed torque converter automatic gearbox with launch control, although it's not the best launch control in the world. And that car is a lot lighter than the standard Julia Quadrifoglio, weighs in at 1,540 kilos, which is 140 kilos lighter than the standard car, which is some weight saving. And it's 150,000 spondulis. Wow. It, I, you know, I thought this was expensive. That's even more expensive. And they're both about as rare in the UK because there'll only be 10 of those sold in the UK as well, the GTA. Because you can get a GTA M, which has no back seats and stuff like that, which ideally is a slightly better match for this car. But, you know, it doesn't make any difference really to the weight or the power. So performance the same. Right, before we race, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss any of these crazy drag races. Now let's get to it. Buy, sell, car, wow. Before we race, customer call my sound check. Let's rev it up. And I love BMWs for the fact they don't have soft limiters. Look, oh yeah, I'm all the way up there. Sounds better than the standard car. They must have tweaked the exhaust. I know they tweaked the exhaust on your car, Yanni. Let's have a listen to that. I reckon that's gonna sound better. The Italians always make more noise and their cars. Right, <laughs> should we do this? Should we race? Now I've just offended a load of Italians. I was gonna say sorry in Italian, but I don't know what it is. Probably, probably that, innit? No, that's, that's mean something else. Bogged. What was that noise on the brake? <laughs> no way! It's like it held onto its brake. Oh, okay. That was weird. This thing just didn't launch. It said launch and it's like its rear brakes were engaged and then it just eased away, but still managed to win. What was your launch like? My launch was quite good. And for a split second, I was like, oh, hello. But it was a split second and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm finished. I'd like to do it again, right? Cause I think I can actually beat you by an even greater margin. I want to humiliate you. Can I humiliate you please? Why? Why have you got to be like that? Just why? because I want to show the difference between the cars when they're performing at their best. Nothing to do with the fact that I just want to win by a greater margin. Not at all, nothing to do with that. No, it's not me. Three, two, one. Really weird. <laughs> Oh, 
That's so weird. What's going on, Matthew? What's going on, mate? I don't know what it is. The launch is like really gentle. It's just, I don't know, jump in here a second. Oh, I want to show you what nice it's doing. In here, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, yeah, yeah. But I'm more focused on the fact that it's not launching properly. So it says launch and it does it, but it's just like so slow off the line. It's like it's managing the traction. Let me just, obviously look, can't launch again because it's a BMW, so I've got to drive it for a bit. You know what they're like. Yeah, I know. Anyway, how are you? One eternity later. Right, will it engage launch now? So it's doing it, watch this now. Ready? Go. See? Dead. That was actually better. That's the best one I've done so far, but... Yeah. That, because you're in it, performed better. Maybe we're ready to go again. Come on, launch properly. Do what you just did when Yanni was in the car, all right? better. Yeah, you got the launch right that time. Now you see. I ain't gonna get better than that. Big difference. Do you know what? That little ride with you in it cheered it up, made it quicker. That's like by far and away the best launch it's had. So then what exactly happened? Well, the BMW won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. The Alpha took 12.2 seconds. With a better launch in a previous race though, the Alpha has managed an 11.8 seconds over the quarter mile. So quicker than here, but still not as quick as the BMW. Okay, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Cars are in their sporty setting, but automatic mode for the gearbox. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. That kick down's good. Not bad. Oh, I'm going to destroy him to the half mile. Look at that. That's a quick car. I think the kick down on those gearboxes was about the same, wasn't it? You know, they've got similar power, you know, 10 horsepower in it. Yours is lighter, but this is quicker, noticeably, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice, this. It does pull, but you're not comparing apples with apples, are we? But the thing is, we are, because they've got pretty much the same horsepower, similar torque. That's lighter, this is a bit heavier, which would make up for the difference. But this is noticeably quicker. It is apples with apples, it's just that my apple's bigger than your apple. <laughs> Yeah, I've got nothing to say. I've got nothing to say. I'm running out of petrol as well, just letting you know. So you've got another weight advantage because I've got a full tank. Oh my God, it's just getting worse. Let's move on. Waving hands around. You should be doing that because you're in the Italian car. I should just be all stern to like that, like the German, knowing that I am more superior. Same thing again, riding racing 50 miles an hour. This time though, it's going to be a third gear roll on. So we're going to have the cars in manual mode. Three, two, one, go. so much in it there but meh what's up doc whoa oh my god that rabbit oh my god you missed it i can't believe you missed it i'll tell you what yanni that was pretty hair raising oh god <laughs> Bet the rabbit's not laughing, <laughs> is it? My God, a big hair. I think I missed him by, I don't know, like centimetres. A hair's whisper, whisker, whisper. I don't even know, but wow, I thought it was a goner. I think what we need to do is another rolling grace just to get over that. All right, let's do a rolling grace, this time from 30 miles an hour in second gear, okay? Hopefully there's no hairs about to run out in front of us. You ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, hello, what's going on? You shot off then. You're a bit like a hare. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. No hairs, please. I'll tell you what, German horses are bigger than Italian horses, aren't they? We're in the wrong horse, though, mate. You've ridden the wrong horse. The wrong Italian horse. Plus, we should have brought a bull. I don't know, actually. Your Aurus wouldn't beat this, I don't think. 
I don't know. I don't know. The next Aurus Mike, the Puffamante, and if you want to see me drag race Yan against that, make sure you subscribe to this channel, all right? Because we'll be doing that soon. We'll be doing a drag race with this Aurus Puffamante when he gets it. You will. Yeah, you definitely will. Now you have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? Let's find out. Oh, there's the 100. Here we go. Well, that's a shock. Blimey, that's quite a difference, actually. It's like half a car length. Yeah. At least you got one victory. Everything else was a big loss, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, I can't deny it. We'll take, we'll take one. One's better than none. And it is, of course, the um, most important part of the video. Oh, wait a minute. It's not. It's not, is it? Which of these two cars would you have, actually, Yanni? BM all day, man. All day. What about you? Let me know by voting in the pinned comments. <laughs>